Hey everyone, Cosmic here. Just wanted to make another quick video that I think you guys might be interested in. Uh, so, for once, I'm actually not playing on the server, I'm playing a single player game. And I just decided to run around since I haven't really done too much on my single player, I've been mostly on my uh, friend's server. Anyway, so I decided to just run around and I just um, have been running towards the left of the map for quite a while now and I've actually I went past a lot of corruption but now I'm pretty sure I'm actually at the very edge of the world and this is the first time I have ever been here I've never actually seen the edge of the world and I assume it just drops off and I might just randomly die okay no gold so let's go see if it actually is the end of the map Ow. I'm running out of breath. Man, it keeps on going down. Oh, look at that. Check it out. Here we are. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Okay, this is it. The very edge of the map, guys. I'm almost out of health. I'm going to wait. Okay, you know what? I have like 400 health. I think I'll be fine. Huh. <laughs> So yeah, wow, that's the edge of the map. Pretty cool. And surprising too, because on my way over here, I really didn't pass anything interesting at all. I mean, just like three sites of corruption, maybe. That's it. You know, like no jungle or anything. It's kind of disappointing. And I live. Look at that. I have enough health that I can go down there completely. Take my time even. And come back out and still live. Pretty cool. <gasps> All right, guys, I'm back. Just wanted to um, show you the other edge of the world. Um, I guess I just got pretty bored <laughs> and decided to just run around my single player world. So anyway, uh, let's go down and check to make sure this is in fact the other edge of the world. You can see. I'm on the right side now, I'm not cheating here. This time I didn't I didn't even find the jungle. I passed the dungeon. I didn't go in it yet. I passed the dungeon and I passed more corruption. I got quite a few gold stars. I got twelve gold stars as you can see. So yep, here we are at the very edge. Okay. And it's nighttime too, so. You can see I've got my little light orb buddy following me around. Which is pretty handy dandy. <sighs> Making a way up. Man, having all that health is so helpful. And I tell you, I really, I wouldn't have done this, like just running to the edge of the world. I would not have, oh, I'm gonna die. You were slain. Oh well. Yeah, I honestly wouldn't have done this if I didn't have the uh, couple of accessories that I do uh, when I revive here. Here we go. Uh, here's my house, my single player, nothing really special here. Anyway, uh, the accessories I totally could not live without are like the shiny red balloon. If you find this, this is so helpful. This lets you, uh, it increases your jump height. That is so helpful, just like just getting around mines and just going over hills and stuff. And then I've got the uh, cloud in a bottle. Uh, you can double jump. And then the lucky horseshoe, obsidian skull, Hermes boots. And then I have the depth meter and the gold watch over here. Just in case I care about them. Yeah, anyway, those was the. That's what the edge of the world is like in Terraria. So now you've experienced it. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll see you guys later. Remember to uh, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.